It's like eight, well it's probably like nine o'clock now. On Sunday morning, we're walking to go get some donuts. Oh, Starbucks coming soon, isn't it? It's cold. Like it's starting to legit get cold. It's like, what is it like? 50, 50, 54 degrees outside. It is Monday morning, 10, 17 a.m. I am having a bowl of oatmeal with berries in it, some apple cinnamon hot tea. I am burning my marshmallow fireside candle. So it is a very fall morning. It smells like fall, it tastes like fall. I got hot tea going. Um, I'm also, oh, it's boiling. I had some water boiling because I'm about to make some iced tea actually let me turn this off so um i mentioned it on snapchat and i mentioned it in my last vlog but i didn't show it to you in my last vlog so i'm gonna show you i got this um tazo iced passion herbal tea it's caffeine free and it's specifically made to make iced tea so they give you like these giant tea bags so you can make like a big picture of it. This is the exact tea that Starbucks uses to make their um, iced tea lemonade. So I just use one of these jumbo lemons, like the really big ones, and just use a whole one. And a trick is to really hard like roll it out on your counter to get the juices flowing on the inside that way it's easier to squeeze whenever you're trying to juice it and then i just drop the whole thing in there to get the rest of the flavor out so it can be really lemony And then put some ice in there to help cool it down even faster. But before it cools down too much, you gotta sweeten it so the sugar can dissolve. Who needs Starbucks when you got Raven's Ratchet Kitchen? This is about 12.30. I'm about to make some ghetto Cajun pasta. Well, I mean, I call everything ghetto. Like this is Raven's ratchet cooking show because I don't really feel like I know what I'm doing most of the time and I just use random ingredients. So right now I'm cooking some chicken. I have water boiling for my pasta. I'm gonna be using gluten-free penne pasta. And then I also have some shrimp that I thawed out. And I also have some Zumo's Party Time Sausage, which is the best sausage in the entire world. Nothing compares to Zumo's. Okay, so now I have all my meats cooked. I got my chicken all chopped up. I got my Zumo sausage. I used two sausage links all chopped up. And then my shrimp, which I cooked and seasoned. So this is all the meat that's going into the dish. So I have that ready to go. The pasta is cooking. So when that's done, all I have to do is dump the meat into the pasta and add the sauce and I guess seasoned to taste, but the meat is all seasoned, so I feel like it'll be pretty good. I'll probably just add a little bit more pepper and seasoning or whatever. So here's everything all together. Literally just threw everything back into the pot, the sauce, all the meats and the pasta, and then I just added a little bit more salt and pepper and I added some cayenne pepper and some red pepper flakes to make it spicy. So it'll be like, you know, spicy Cajun pasta. So I tasted it and it's actually really bomb. This is like my first time making this, like kind of just making it up as I go along or whatever. I mean, I didn't make this up, but yeah. Anyway, 
What's up guys? It is Tuesday. It's not even 8 a.m. yet. I woke up literally at about 5 a.m. I mean, I keep saying this, but I don't know what's wrong with me. I just wake up so early. Um, but I'm hungry and I really don't have anything here that I feel like having for breakfast. So I'm going to go downstairs to Starbucks and see what I can scrounge up. I want something hot to drink. It's actually starting to get pretty cold out. Um, I have the heat on in my apartment right now. Um, yeah, so it's starting to get pretty cold and I am not a fan of cold weather at all. Like I'm such a baby when it comes to cold weather. So I have the heat blasting in my apartment. I have my um, Victoria's Secret hoodie on, which I feel like Vicky now, because when she said these things are addicting, like you want to wear it every day, like literally since I bought it, I've been wearing it every day. It's so comfy. It's just like the perfect fit, the perfect thickness. You don't even have to wear a shirt under it if you don't want to. Um, but yeah, so I love this hoodie. Definitely worth the investment and i just have it with my forever 21 leggings which actually like match it perfectly like i feel like such an athlete right now <laughs> but yeah these leggings are from forever 21 and i have the matching sports bra to it so i'm pretty much gonna be like living in some combination of this outfit i feel like for the next couple of months while it's cold out Okay, so I'm back from picking up breakfast. Like honestly, I think I said this before, but that's one of the best parts about living here and kind of like living downtown in general is how everything is just right there downstairs. Like there's so many restaurants, so many little shops and stuff, like the nail shops right there. You can get breakfast, you can get lunch, you can get like anything you want. Um, just right downstairs from your apartment and I've never had that before I've always been in a place where you have to drive to get anything so um, this is what I got pancakes bacon and scrambled eggs it was really cheap like five dollars um, at this little place downstairs that's next to the Starbucks and then I also got a white chocolate mocha with a pump of caramel added it's recommended for pregnant women to cut back on caffeine. Um, basically, if you drink coffee every morning, they tell you to really cut back. But it's not like you can't have caffeine at all. They just tell you to like cut back and like not drink coffee every morning and like have two. Cause you know how like a lot of, especially like working women, they literally wake up, they have their cup of coffee, they have to have their coffee and they end up drinking like two, three cups of coffee a day. And that's like a lot of caffeine. Me. I barely ever have caffeine like I only get Starbucks like on special occasions and most of the times when I go to Starbucks I don't actually get coffee I usually get like their caffeine free tea and stuff like that so I rarely ever have uh, caffeine to begin with so if I get Starbucks every once in a while it's completely fine Hey guys, so it's a little bit later. It's about four o'clock and I just went down and got my packages. I got another package from Cover Effects because Corey is so sweet. She watched my video and she saw that the foundation shades that I did, I mean, that I tried on in my recent Get Ready With Me video. Um, she saw that they weren't quite my color. So she went ahead and sent me new colors right away. So thank you, Corey, so much. I'm definitely excited to try out these new shades and take them with me to New York so that my foundation can be flawless because I really liked the Cover FX foundations. And then I also got my package from Forever 21. So now I can open everything and lay all my new stuff out and make some outfits to take to New York and start packing. Okay guys, so I'm packing. I'm just trying everything on because I don't try on stuff. Well, obviously you can't try on stuff when you order it online and I hardly ever try on stuff even when I buy it from the store because I'm just lazy like that. But I wanted to make sure I at least tried everything on before I packed it because I didn't want to like get to New York and then be like, none of the stuff that I brought even fits or looks good. So I wanted to make sure that I tried on a few outfits. This is basically going to be my overall look for the weekend i feel like basically uh kind of a this dress is actually pretty thick so it'll keep me a little bit warm you know over the knee nice kim k neutral colors of course and then this is the um 
gray coat that I was showing you guys on Snapchat. So obviously very Kim K inspired, like I've been saying. I just feel like it's flattering for the belly. And actually I'm more tempted to actually poke my belly out now rather than even try and like suck it in. Cause if I wanted to, I could suck it in a little bit. Like it's still at that point where honestly nobody would really even know. Or I can like just let it all hang out and then people can kind of tell a little bit. I don't know if you guys can really see that, but honestly it looks better I feel like when I poke it out because at least you can like tell I'm pregnant. I'm just in that awkward stage where it's like is she pregnant or is she just bad built? <laughs> so yeah, but anyway, I'm definitely packing heels. I don't care. I don't care. I don't care. I'm packing heels and dresses and skirts and Hopefully I don't freeze to death, but I probably will. So I got my little fur thing that I can put on top of my coats and stuff like that. I have a black leather jacket and a white leather jacket. So I'm probably gonna just bring both. Oh yeah, this almost looks better just with the leather jacket or whatever. If you guys watch Ashley's vlog from when we were shopping together, I showed a really cute maroon leather jacket that I saw when we were in Forever 21 and it had like a very similar furry thing attached to it but it was like $60 and I already have leather jackets so I didn't buy it but now I'm like regretting it like I low-key want to go back to the mall and get it definitely gonna pack booties what up people, it is Wednesday about 2 p.m. I am looking crazy because I'm about to do my hair. Um, I went to CVS on a whim and bought some drugstore products to try and uh, do something to my hair. Um, as you guys obviously can tell, my hair has already been bleached and highlighted to like this brassy golden blonde color but I never got it finished so now I'm just gonna try and do something to it myself so I just got a box dye of super blonde it's pretty much the harshest blonde box dye you can probably get or one of I mean this is just the L'Oreal brand lots of different brands make it but it's like you can even use it on dark brown hair and it's supposed to get your hair blonde so my hair tends to be kind of stubborn in the fact that it's already processed and stuff so I decided to just go ahead and get like the heavy duty blonde box dye and then I also got some purple shampoo silver purple shampoo or whatever which helps with brassiness my hair is obviously super freaking brassy as it is and then once I lighten it even more I don't want it to just be like yellow so hopefully this can kind of help a little bit I'm not gonna be doing my whole like putting this on my whole entire hair and taking it up to the roots or anything like that I'm actually leaving my roots pretty much as is I like having dark roots it helps it blend with my wigs and I just like the way it looks better anyway so I'm not gonna be touching my roots anyway but basically what I'm gonna be doing with this dye is just kind of taking random chunks and basically adding highlights or balayage balayage however you say that word just kind of like sort of ombre it sort of adding highlights sort of just brightening it up with little chunks here and there so nothing too major uh also disclaimer a lot of you guys have probably heard you can't dye your hair you can't bleach your hair when you're pregnant you're gonna hurt the baby no, that's not true. Um, there's different different doctors and different scientists will tell you different things, but basically, it's not a good idea to dye your hair really in your first trimester. I'm already closer to five months pregnant, so I'm no longer in my first trimester. Um, and also, you can dye your hair when you're pregnant. It's just you don't want to get the chemicals inside of your system and you don't want to inhale too much of the chemicals to get it inside of your system. So as long as you're in a well ventilated place, I'm in the big open area of my apartment and I have this huge window open back here. Boom. So um, well ventilated area and especially if you're not touching it to your roots, it's not going to soak in through your skin and the fumes since, you, okay, yeah, you guys get it. Anyway, so it's totally fine 
please don't freak out in the comments about me dyeing my hair it's fine google it okay so basically i kind of changed my mind and instead of just doing highlights i decided to like bleach my whole head except for my roots really um i was just kind of gonna go in and do like a few little like bloop, 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 little highlights just adding some lightness in a couple of places but i changed my mind and now i just kind of just want to be blonde like um i think it was because i watched jade's video and she just had like a platinum blonde wig on and i was like Ugh, i kind of want that so i basically just aborted my first mission so i went ahead and lightened my hair um kind of just like a first round of lightning um taking it from what it was being orange to more yellow now and now i'm about to go over it with another dye to try and take it from being yellow to being more of an ashy or blonde i don't know if it's really gonna work i might just be stuck with this yellow but it is definitely lighter brighter so even if i only get stuck with this i won't be too sad about it so it is 8 a.m. on Thursday. I pretty much spent all last night bleaching and dyeing and trying to tone my hair. Um, I don't know if you guys can really tell a difference because I didn't really get a good before shot and I don't know how accurate this lighting is, but it is definitely blonder. I think you can tell more if I do like this. I wanted to go ahead and tell y'all what I used, even though it's not gonna be helpful really because I already started off with bleached hair. So like if your hair is already bleached to a golden level, then if you wanna get to a lighter level, then you can use this method. But if your hair is like black, brown, red, whatever, it's not gonna do the same thing because my hair was already blonde. So I don't, that's part of the reason why I didn't make a tutorial as well because most people are trying to dye their hair from their hair being dark, not from their hair already being blonde. But anyway, I just used two box dyes. I used the L'Oreal like super deluxe blonde kit. Basically, when you look on the shelf, just look for like the blondest, strongest, most, most bleachiest one. And I basically used that one and just basically just used that as my bleach, as my lightener. And so I used that kit and just kind of lightened my hair. And it makes your hair very yellow and brassy because it doesn't have toner, it doesn't have any added color in it, it's just bleach. So your hair is automatically gonna be yellow and orange. Um, my hair already was orange, so it just made it yellow. And then to take out some of the yellowness, cause my hair was like bright yellow after that. Um, I tried to tone it down by using another box dye, which is the L'Oreal Ash Blonde. It's Ash Blonde. The box number is nine and a half. And it's just like, I think it's called Lightest Ash Blonde. And it'll even say on the box that it's a cool toned blonde. And it also said on the box that it's meant to cancel out the yellow, red, brassy tones from when you um, normally bleach your hair. So I think it did a decent job of getting out some of the yellow and oranginess. I mean, I still have some streaks and it's kind of still got a tinge of like brassiness to it, but overall it's much ashier and much toned down than how it was. So I'm pretty happy with it. I mean, it's it's pretty good for box dye. I mean, all I had to do was run to CVS, get two boxes of dye, and it's really easy because they, you know, box dyes are much easier to work with than like trying to be all professional about it. But yeah, so I brought it up into my roots a little bit just to give it more of an ombre because my roots were just like shh, like cut off like a blunt. It went from dark to light in a really like blunt, awkward way. So I kind of ombre it so it would be more of a, you know, you know. So this is how my hair looks when it's blow dried. I just blew it out. I'm not a very good blow dryer. So if I was better at it, it probably would be a lot smoother, but it's really puffy because I feel like I'm not very good at blow drying my hair. Um, and now I'm going to straighten it because I plan on just wearing my real hair for my trip to New York. Cause I just don't feel like messing with wigs. So yeah, I'm going to straighten my hair. 
I'm going to do my makeup. I'm going to film a couple of videos today because I do want to get at least one video up before I leave for New York tomorrow. And I have to go get my nails done today because these things, I don't know if my, my pregnancy is making my nails grow faster or what, but they're all like super grown out. And this one is cracked and this one is completely busted. So definitely need to hit up the nail shop today and just finish packing, get just get my life together because my life is not together. And I leave for New York tomorrow morning. Oh, and yeah, here's my finished hair. So it's definitely blonde. So I'm currently walking to the nail shop. In the city. Hey guys, so it's about 7 a.m. I am up and getting myself together to go catch my plane with Ashley. We're gonna head to the airport in about an hour and a half, two hours. Our flight leaves at 11. Um, yeah, I'm so excited to go to New York. So obviously this vlog is like part one of my week and then they, there will be a part two to this vlog so that the New York trip can have like its own little vlog. So definitely check out part two when I post it, when I get back. Um, let's see, oh yeah, I wanted to show you guys my nails. I got my typical like coffin shape, but I got this really pretty dark burgundy color. It's an SC polish called In The Lobby and she did such a good job. But yeah, I'm just gonna get ready and we're gonna head to the airport. So I will see you in part two of this vlog.